So, if you watched the news yesterday, you know that there was a shooting in Colorado, and I actually have a friend who went, who goes to that high school, and that was just a really scary moment, and I felt this poem was appropriate for be, this being the day after a pretty bad shooting and the anniversary of Newtown, so. You were born three days after Columbine. CNN was blaring in the background as you slipped into the hands of the midwife and did not make a sound for the first 10 seconds of your life. It was in that time that you realized there is so much more color on earth than there was in your mother's womb, and only then did you cry. New York City turned to ash on America's lips on September 11th, 2001, and at that time you were just learning to how to ball your hand into a fist. Crushing berries in between your palms had become one of your favorite pastimes. And when George Bush declared the war on terror, you had gained enough energy in your senses to rip apart a strawberry. You walked around with the seeds stuck under your nails for days. Your neighbor caught the swine flu right after you turned 10. When your father asked you to pray for her, you asked why and were sent to bed early that night. And it was after that you stopped praying altogether in a house that was practically an amateur altar. You flinched at the sound of the amen during grace at every dinner. You faked sick every Sunday before church. Your neighbor ended up recovering. That was when you decided you did not respectfully believe in a God anymore. It was in between Osama bin Laden's death. Navidad in 2011 and the shooting in Aurora, Colorado, that you were stuck in a dark, confusing void. You were not sure if you were a lesbian atheist or just another girl who was too much too, much too lonely. For you, the idea of a higher power was comforting while at the same time angering. You had tried praying a few times, but it never seemed to work. All you wanted was for the scars on the deliberately hidden parts of your skin to fade because now you regretted putting them there. Newtown, Connecticut was flogged by the butt of Adam Lanza's rifle the day your Christmas break started in eighth grade. You cried on the school bus as the radio recited the names of the 21st graders who had been gunned down in that night. You watched bowling for Columbine three times in a row. Then you emailed all your friends and asked them to braid funeral pyres into their hair. And it was the summer before you started high school that you realized that you had started caring more about the American tragedies than your own personal ones. Perhaps it was selfless but it was not healthy at all. You looked under your clothes and noted the scars had not faded. You looked to your ceiling and remembered your unanswered prayers. Am I just dirt under a God's fingernails, you asked. But you knew no one would know the answer.